Hi team, uh, back again. Let's talk about Dreamweaver and what it's capable of doing. Um, it is your primary tool. And I'm gonna tell you that this video is gonna be really important for you because I'm gonna move really slowly at the beginning and then I'm going to let you delve in. And what I'm gonna advise you first of all is experiment, yes, but pay really close attention to what you're doing. You, can, you must be deliberate. Second thing I'll tell you is you need to use tutorials to guide your development. If you don't, you're going to flounder into a lot of trouble. You're going to show up at my desk and say, help me fix this, and it will be such a hot mess that it may not be fixable. So with that in mind, I'm going to ask you to be careful, deliberate, but this is a lot of fun. Um, at the same time. So first thing is hopefully we have already completed your install of Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver is part of the Adobe Suite. Um, we have the newest version which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now Dreamweaver is a tool in that it's going to allow us to code and create um, a, a website in its entirety. So I actually was doing some playing, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, so what I've done now, if you notice, is you open it up. It looks like this. I've been in Dreamweaver before, but you have not. Um, so notice you've got a set of tools along the left-hand side. If I slide over to the top, I can see what format I'm running in. I can run in either standard or developer mode. Developer mode is going to put everything on the left side. Um, and it's going to be more of a visual plane. I'm going to stay in standard because I think it's more, um, it's easier for you to move from left to right and see what you're, when you're learning something new. I'm going to go to create new. Um, I don't want a new document. I want, let's do this. Hang on. Let's back up. I want to file, um, let's go to, go to site. Okay. I'm going to create a new site. Now for you, that's um, a pretty simple step, but I want you to get to where you see site set up for unnamed site. That's where you need to be. We're going to create what's called a, um, a manager management system for your site so that you, what you create will all be kept together in one spot on your desktop. So here's what I'm going to, I'm going to let you see. Um, it says this is how you create a site um, and site name. I'm going to give mine a site name. Um, you could call it something like my site. Um, I'm going to call mine uh, Dink World. Here's what I want you to see is when I'm naming my site, I don't need to, I mean, I don't need to worry about how my name is written. It can be written anyway here. Later on, this will matter, okay? Now I'm gonna create a directory. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna to go to where it says desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. And this folder, I'm going to, it, the type of name does matter. There can be no spaces and it shouldn't have capital, capital letters either. So I'm gonna once again call this dink underscore world. But the reason you do that is because the internet does not, it does not, like spaces of any kind. And it, when I drop this on a server and it eventually becomes part of a URL, I don't want it to have um, percentage signs, which is what happens when you create a site. It looks unprofessional. So I'm going to create that. I'm going to choose that. And if you notice, I now have a directory, meaning a direct line to, from where my content is going to go to where it's going to end up. So it's my computer. It's going to go to my desktop into a folder called dink underscore world. And the name of my site is going to be dinks world there. That's good. So I'm going to, before I save, though, I want to make sure that I have the ability to put other things in my site from the outside. So I'm going to click on where it says advanced settings, local info. I'm going to go up here to where my default images folder is. Um, because if I want my own pictures to be in my website, I, I have to put them where my website can see them. Remember, it can only see what you let it see. So I'm going to click on this. 
little icon, my desktop. I'm going to find my Dink's World, Dink World folder. I'm going to choose that. Um, why isn't it? Let me find it. And then I'm going to save it. Okay, so I've got I've got an image. I've got a folder. Let me see. I'm going to come out here to my desktop just so I can show you. I'm going to come here to where it says Dink World. And I did something wrong, boys and girls. I mean, even I'll mess this up. Because if I had correct, I should have a folder called Images. You know what? I don't think I made the folder. So let me go back to managing my site here. Let's see if I can open it up. Let's go back to my, my management. I'll go to my advanced settings, local info. It's there. Um, new folder. Let's call it images. Let's put it within Dink's world here. Try again. There we go, people. There we go. Okay, so that's what I did. I totally blew this off. So I need to go to where it says advanced settings, local info. I have to create a folder called images within my folder that's there. I can't just send my pictures to a place without a location. That's what I tried to do. Now I'm going to hit save and done. Ah, there we go. So on my, my site listing, and notice where it says files, because that's what these are. I have a site, um, and it's, it's called Dink's World. I have a folder within that called Images. If I change this to Developer Mode, I can see all that stuff on the left. I mean, this, it does that all for me. Honestly, I'm going to encourage you to stay in Standard Mode, because I think it's going to help you. Okay, folks, it's time for, that's our first step, setting it up. Our second step is going to be actually adding pages to our website.